welcome back to my channel. It's Janlyn again. And I hope you're having a fantastic day or night wherever you are in the world. And if you're new here, welcome. Here we do plenty things. So if that interests you, consider in subscribing to my channel and hit that bell button so that you're updated with my latest videos. So today, guys, I'm going to show you my David Austin Roses garden in full bloom. So as you can see, most of them are already in full bloom and we just went on a holiday last friday we came back early morning today monday it's june 14th and this is what greeted me in the morning when i when we arrived home and most of them already in full bloom so let me show you each one of them and We'll start with my summer song. So this is my summer song. It's not as as um, bushy as the others. And as you can see, this one is just one long stem. So I think you can um, put summer song on a trellis and it can be a short climber. But if I want it to be just like a shrub, I can just um, prune it and cut it off um, maybe along this level with um, this other rose here rose bloom and it will be just a shrub so anyway look at this beautiful color guys it's orange red and it's just gorgeous this um, fragrance is um, strong tea fragrance and it smells really good this one is not one of the best um, flower, but this is the first one. As you can see, it's small. And the color is gorgeous anyway. It's very beautiful. I love this rose. It's one of my favorite rose. Although the um, stems are quite weak, so it can handle the the weight of the flower that's why it's um bowing down so look at these pansies at the bottom it's just covering the bottom of the um rose and you can see um the soil as well so i have mulch i still have mulch um at the bottom and there's um pansies there to protect um the roots and as uh, it serves as a mulch as well so it wouldn't dry out as much so this next one is my olivia rose austin and look at all these flower guys it's just like a bouquet it's so beautiful and the shape is kind of like um how do you say it? it's like deformed now it's not as good as it's supposed to be because of the weather probably yesterday and today as well it's going to be 26 degrees today to, uh, at the moment it's 23 degrees which is already warm here so it's affecting the petals but nevertheless they're gorgeous keeps on blurring but look at this so this is just about to open and i've already deadheaded them um, earlier there are still a few that needs to be um, deadhead but i just left it um, like that for now and this um, Olivia Rose Austin smells good as well. It says light to medium fruity, but for me it smells good. And the next one is my Royal Jubilee. And as you can see, it's very tall. So I think it's like five, five three, five foot um, three inches in height. So look at this. Beautiful, beautifully cup rose guys so this one have the same effect of the too much heat it's like the end of the petals are becoming darker 
but this one is one perfect example of how beautiful the royal jubilee rose is it's like it's a cup rose so it doesn't fully open it's just like this look at this one it's just gorgeous gorgeous rose and let me see if i can show this to you properly look at that it's just gorgeous and as you can see as well guys there are many buds um, around the flower so you can just deadhead the um, rose that's already um, died and then it will make um, it will produce more flowers so it's better to um, deadhead the rose so that you can have more uh, blooms from your rose and then this next one is my Claire Austin and look at how gorgeous the flowers are guys it's like this is um, good for weddings and the color is just so pure it's like it's white with a lemon tinge in the center and look at this so i hope the camera is capturing it properly the sun is so bright here at the moment and the clear austin smells um, good as well so the next one is my golden celebration and look at how beautiful flowers guys and it's huge they are huge and it smells so good it's like I highly recommend this rose it's like the flowers are huge and smells good the color is good as well it's like it will brighten up your garden so look at this gorgeous color and the way their petals are arranged and this, I love this one. It's like, it's picture perfect. As you can see there, it's like this, bloom at the middle. And then there are three buds on the corner. And the shape as well is so beautiful. So, which one is one of the biggest ones so that I can show you how big it is. So this one is big. But it's not even in uh, full bloom yet. So, or let me just show you this one. So, this is my hand. It's almost the same size as my hand, guys. So, I think um, the diameter of this is like 3 to 4 inches. And... The fragrance is like uh, ripe bananas, so it smells delicious. And the next one is my Ferdinand Pitchard. So this is a variegated um, rose from David Austin. And look at this gorgeous color, guys. Don't you just love the fuchsia pink and the light pink combination and then there's stripes as well and most of the flowers are at the bottom i don't know why it's like the first few flowers are at the bottom and it's not just this one is deep pink it's like fuchsia pink and then there are um like this one is light pink and like purpley as you can see i can't focus it wait let me just Focus it properly so that you can see it. Look at this, guys. They're just gorgeous. And so here is our arbor. And look at that, guys. Look at those beautiful flowers. So I have our Bathsheba here. So it's a climbing rose. I put it near the 
um, arbor so that it can climb over it and now look at that beautiful roses on the side and there are um, roses at the top as well so soon it will be covered with roses and Bathsheba is um, a beautiful rose as well it's like somewhat orange at the um, in the middle so this one I don't know if you can see it properly so on the side it's like nothing in um, nothing in near where I can focus on it properly this one I don't know why it looks more pink it's not supposed to be pink maybe um, the Sun um, burned it as well there you go so there are many blooms here at the back of the arbor all right so let me go down and i'll show you this extra one this is not a david austin rose but it's beautiful as well it's a lavender circus rose it's just beautiful it's purple Oh, it's just so gorgeous look at that so when it's in full bloom it will complement the pachiba here all right so we're done with the uh, mamas the david austin roses mamas so we'll go to the babies so this is our lavender and this is uh, my hanging basket with petunias and our marigold so the next one is the William Shakespeare 2000 so I got this last year maybe around August and so the ones with the uh, full bloom before are already done so already deadheaded this morning so this one I think is spent as well so this other one is still a bud but it's gorgeous when it's um in full bloom and the flower will start uh, with a color crimson and as it matures it will become purple and the fragrance is really good as well i think it's similar to the fragrance of the golden celebration it's like um strong fruity fragrance and the next one is my most awaited rose to bloom because I heard so much praises about this beautiful rose and now I can finally see how it looks like in full bloom and this is the Lady Emma Hamilton and look at how gorgeous the flower is guys it's like it's orangey in the middle and then pink um outside outside petals are pink or pinkish and look at the buds so the bud is like red and it will open up to these colors and the smell or the fragrance is beautiful as well it's strong and fruity so it's a medium shrub rose and I have um, viola or pansies at the bottom um, to complement the color of the rose. And as you can see, they're orange and the middle of um, the Lady Emma Hamilton, eh, Lady Emma Hamilton is orange or apricot orange as well. And the gorgeous, gorgeous stems. Can you see guys? It's like it's red. So one of the best picture of the lady emma hamilton i'm always tongue um, twisted with the name the lady emma hamilton is red the stem is red so gorgeous the overall plant is gorgeous and the next one is another climbing rose it's a gertrude jekyll uh, this is one um is the first one that have blooms in my garden and it's just 
like it exploded with flowers suddenly all the flowers um, opened and they're in full bloom so i did had uh, most of them this morning as well so these are what left behind and look at how beautiful the arrangement of the petals are guys so the fragrance is strong and fruity as well so they smell really good look at this it's like they're like a bouquet and they have large blooms as well just gorgeous gorgeous um flower so this one is another one that i have been waiting for to bloom and they all bloom all at the same time and this is the jubilee celebration and the blooms are quite heavy so all of them are bowing down and let me just sit down so that you, i can show you how it looks like so look at that beautiful color guys this one is i'm um, sitting on the plant support and it's like um pinkish like how do i describe this color it's like pink apricot it's not even orange but like more pink apricot pink salmon pink so there you go this is a beautiful one and look at the petals and it's a large bloom as well so let me just show this other one so this guys look at that it's just gorgeous i love love this rose i wish that um it will just all um show how beautiful they are by just um, being upright but the stems are not as strong to um, handle the weight of the flower so this one is another beautiful rose all of them are beautiful in my opinion but i i have never seen it uh, bloom before as well so this lady emma hamilton and jerto jekyll i got them as a pruned shrub last october first week of october 2020 and the next four the jubilee celebration the nostalgia i have another summer song here and another lady m hamilton uh, i got them as bare roots last year so i planted them at the end of october 2020 and if you haven't seen the video yet guys on how to plant a bare root rose um i have a video um about it so please uh, watch it and like i said this one is the nostalgia and look at how gorgeous 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 rose it's just beautiful look at the color it's like white inside and then the end of the petal is like orange red or light red so i love the contrast of the color so it's not just plain white solid color it's a combination of white and red it's just gorgeous and this next one is the summer song so this one is better than the other one maybe because it's shorter and look at those blooms guys or it's still buds but look at the gorgeous color and the next one is another lady Ham lady emma hamilton so this name is already um too much for me to mention <laughs> um it's too long but it's worth it saying the name because it's gorgeous and this last one on this row is my eustacia vi so my husband have gifted this for me on valentine's day this year and it's still a shrub rose or prune shrub 
rose when I receive it and now look at it it's just in full bloom in full glory of its how beautiful it is and look at how huge the petals or the, the blooms guys so I think this is around the same size or small a little bit smaller than the golden celebration uh, three to four inches as well and so it will start like this and it will open up with a tinge of apricot orange in the middle and then light pink um, petals on the outside and as it matures it will fade its color to just plain pink but you can still see there's still some um, tinge of apricot orange at the back and look at these beautiful roses guys and the fragrance is strong and fruity as well so this one is still like you can see the apricot orange color and the petals the arrangement of the petals is just so beauty beautiful it's like ruffles and the last one in the group i haven't planted it yet in the pot and this is the one that i got from david austin rose's garden when we went there um first week of june this year and this is the gabriel oak and it's in full bloom as well and look at this guys look at how beautiful the petals is it's i think it's not um it's not as beautiful as it's supposed to be yet because of the heat maybe i'll put it somewhere on the shaded area and let me see what it says here so the bloom size of the rose is large and i can position it on the um under the sun or partial shade and the color is deep pink and the fragrance is strong and fruity as well but they're just gorgeous roses and i will have some petals on the floor of the patio but it's just a beautiful mess for me they're just gorgeous and maybe i'll make um some rose oil as well from the petals of my roses because there will be plenty of them uh, they're just starting on their um, first flash so there you go guys thank you for watching my video please like this video for more uh, David Austin Rose's um, videos and I have houseplant videos as well if you're interested in that and please follow me in Instagram it's Janelin's underscore channel I post um, videos of my houseplants and flowers David Austin Rose's garden there as well and that's much said thank you again for subscribing to my channel for all my subscribers and for those who haven't subscribed yet please please subscribe to my channel so see you again soon and happy gardening